Hmm. What? What's up? Uh, Mike's maintenance guy just got there. Oh, all right then.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's fine. Alrighty. So you guys ready? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so Yeeker, your turn. As you see the door burst open, and Vukani's facing about, uh, mostly a five to six foot tall uh, hobgoblin with not that much armor on. Uh, I'll show you what they look like again. That's what they look like. So, Yeeker, your turn, sir. Are you there? Or AFK? <laughs> Yeeker! Draco! I'm back. He's dead. Oh, no. I pinged him, just in case. What? That's your turn. Uh, okay, whatever. I guess I'll shoot one on one. Okay. Oh, did you hear what I said? Yeah, you just see Vukani in front of this big guy. Like, he's tall, like, you know, five, six, like a hobgoblin. But he's not wearing a lot of armor. Alrighty. Cool. So, okay, natural one. Yeah. And then 20. Let's see. That would I think that would actually let's see. Oh excuse me. Um yeah that, that would hit. Yeah that would hit. And then after that, twenty-six. That's a crit, nice. The confirm with <laughs> another crit, nice. Uh let's see if they have anything. So yeah, that, that crits the shit out of him. Um, so yeah, so 20 hits and the crit confirms. So that's a total of... Let's see. Oh, yeah, maybe the times three. So 2d8, plus three. And you're what 30 feet yeah you're within 30 feet so you can definitely get that plus one uh, all right got it he's still up but he's really he doesn't look good at all he's pretty much down like, but I mean, he's pretty much in pain as like the two errors hit him, but you hit one of the errors into like his almost like his his chin. So he's like, oh, he's in pain as the arrow's sticking through his chin. He's bleeding really bad from there as he kind of almost knelt down, like as if he's going to like kind of collapse from that hit. All right. And uh, now it's uh... Uh, Miles. Yeah, it's your turn, sir. All right. The one uh, Yiker just said, uh, I'm going to drop a regular flaming spear on him. Uh, make me a uh, reflex save, please. DC 18. Alrighty. DC 18. Got it. So quickly as a side note, as far as language is known, uh, 
<clears throat> as far as I can tell, linguistics gives you an extra one. Yeah, an extra one. Yeah, it gives you each, one extra every uh, time you have a rank in it. Yeah. For each rank? Yes, for each rank. So I get two uh, extra languages yeah. plus my intelligence score extra language. Yes, at the very beginning, yeah. Mm -hmm. So three total. Uh, so uh, back two miles. Um, I, I failed. Yeah. Okay. So, so he I takes... failed with a yeah with a two. <laughs> Man, I'm really low for the guy. Yeah. Uh, so he fire. takes yeah six fire damage. Six fire. Does he have anything special based off that? No. Nope. Actually, he's pretty good. Okay, so he takes six. It hurts him. The same guy that he burned. Mm -hmm. He does, he's not looking well, but he's still up. Most likely, he's really bad hurt from the from the arrow in his shin, but he's still up. Yeah. Barely, but he's still up. Or not barely, but he's hurt really bad. So All sick. right. All right, got it. Uh, after that, it is their turn. He will five foot back. Takes his place. So you see one kind of like tumble, like go back as he kind of moves in, in a very agile way. And then one uh, tumbles into his place and starts fighting. Uh, let's see. Um, and then this guy does, he does a full attack. So your full attack. So that would be... What's your AC right now, uh, Bukani? Since I'm flat. Oh, oh yeah, you're flat. Sure. 23. 23. Oh, damn. You don't lose that much. Nice, nice. Okay, not with, not with a 1. He misses with a 1, but he hits with a 23. Mm -hmm. so he hits you with three. Um, oh, and also make a four to save. The fuck did he hit me with? Like, he, he, he goes in an agile stance, in a combat stance, and then he hits you with his fist as he tries to strike you, but you block it, and then he does like a roundhouse kick and he kicks into you. Oh, okay, now, okay, now I get what these uh, guys are. Fucking monk bitches. <laughs> You pass with your 27. <laughs> so you're good. <laughs> I like how you're like, monk bitches. <laughs> That's it. Alright, um, damage I got distracted by, by what he said. It's funny. Alright. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you take 10 points of damage as he kicks into you. Uh, after that. Alrighty. After that, you hear some type of, uh, uh, oh yeah, you hear kind of some kind of like a weird chanting from like the distance a little bit. It sounds like some type of like, slip the dogs of war, as you hear it in Goblin. All right. And then from there, and then you see the people, uh, uh, you know, around you, that or Vukani and, and Mortos, you guys see it the most, the, the monk in front of you. Uh, you definitely see like he's, like his morale's boosted, like he's like really, He's like going really fast, like he's able to keep going. Like he's not, he's not, he's definitely like ready to keep going all the way. Um, all right. So let's see. And then this guy. Uh, he will push himself this way. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see. And then. Yeah, and stay right there. Who kind of your turn? <gasps> oh, fucking monks all up in this shit. Yeah. Um, well. Nothing for it except uh, drinking mutagen. Well, it's like a potion. Do you want to drink in front of them, or do you want to five to step back? 
can't five foot step back because that exposes the bard. Sure. <sighs> sure you can. I mean, you can just drink it and just take the risk. You're not flat footed. So Plus, I'm you got to con- have a really high AC, anyways. You got to consider if Volkani gives a fuck about the bard in general. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's okay. You can take a hit or two. <laughs> Hey, yeah, but the, the, ex- the extracts are okay, so I should be. I can dig those. No, like the extracts, the mutants, and anything like that. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, they right, provoke. Right, right, right. Fucking monk bitches. Oh, I got something for the ass. Well, they can't stun you with that type of tunies, that's for sure. Mortals would have noticed that uh, he spoke goblin to them, right? Yeah, yeah, you definitely can hear Goblin. Like, if you guys, whoever understands Goblin, you hear they're talking Goblin towards each other. Yeah, so as the uh, as, as I fixed my languages due to leveling up, uh, I know <laughs> Goblinoid, <laughs> Demonic, <laughs> and Draconic. Gotcha. Sounds good. All the most evil languages. <laughs> Oh, I suppose. <laughs> did we, did we come in here at level eight, or did we come here at level seven? Uh, right. you guys leveled. Uh, or I guess technically you would have been here at level eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you okay, because I didn't know that for like eight. preparations and shit. So. Yeah, you've been level eight. You would have been level eight when you entered this layer. Right, we leveled up last turn. That's why I'm kind of catching yeah. up. But I mean, too. but in in some sense, you would have been here at level eight when you entered the layer when you fought that. You know guy. what? Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just do it. Do total defense. Oh, okay. uh, total defense or fight defensively? Fight defensively oh, no. is a minus four minus penalty? Four. Yeah, minus four a penalty to attack roll, but you get a plus two to AC. It yeah. goes to a plus three to AC if you have four, uh, three ranks in uh, acrobatics. Uh, do I have that many ranks in acrobatics? I don't think so. Okay, okay then you just get plus two. I do not. It is plus two. So let's do that. Fight defensive, minus four. So here's the two attacks. All right. Are you taking the guy behind him? Uh, yeah, because the long spear can't hit this adjacent, can it? So. Yeah. No, yeah, they can't hit adjacent. Yes, sir. So. Stab. All right, here we go. Okay, the twenty-nine hits. The twenty-nine hits, but the eight misses. Oh, well, the twenty-seven. Or twenty-seven, yeah, twenty-seven. Not, not including the penalty. Yeah. I mean, he has cover, but yeah, twenty-seven definitely still hits mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Uh, eight minutes. Uh, okay, so three, three points of damage. So you skewer into him. Mm-hmm. Like his friend dodges. He's like, "What the hell?" And then his friend's like, "What?" And it's like, "Oh, my chest!" And it's like that little blade pierces mm-hmm. his chest. Uh, so he got him. AC twenty six, bitches. Come on. Alrighty. Uh, after that, Mordos, your turn. Alrighty then. Let's see that he's kind of taking post at the door. That's really cool. Um, yeah. So one of the I feel like I... Bukani should swap out with the the tiger when you guys get a chance. <laughs> That'd be a good call. Well, I think the tiger can go through walls, right? No, I'm talking about no, walls. no. I'm the tiger. You're uh, talking about the lion. lion. About the lion. That's it. The lion can go through walls. Now, would it be like a free action <laughs> to command him, or? Uh, it would be. I think kind of like handle, handle animal. Check. I think it's like a move action. I think handle animal is like a move action. Okay, so it'd be a. Full yeah, you have to give up. You kind of, you kind of, kind of focus. You have to focus and tell it what the hell's doing. So you can be like, oh, okay, cool, boss, I'll do it. All right. Oh my god, I, fe- I just figured that you guys commanded this guy. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this encounter's kind of, gonna be like so much more easier now. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Right. No, well, then again, of course, then you won't be able to see him across the wall if you do push him. Like, tell him to go across the wall, you won't be able to see him, so it's going to be hard for you to command him at that point. No, but I can't tell him to, like, like charge attack, right? You can tell him to charge, but he has to see something, yeah. Oh. Uh, well, I guess he's going to have to open his eyes. And I mean, they're the ghosts, door. but they're not, they don't have, like, all vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're able to send him through, too. Man, it's risky yeah. using this guy because he has that kind of um, gaze. Yeah, it hits everybody. But at the same time, at the same it, it like, yeah, I mean, it does hit everybody if he keeps it open. Because it's just a constant effect. Yeah. Right. It is a right risk. now, his eyes are still closed. Yeah, his eyes are still closed. So, but I went... they, I think they, 
Because uh, whoever did a knowledge on him... Oh, no, nobody did a knowledge on him yet. Uh, Yiker. Yiker, Yiker did a knowledge on the smaller guys. This is the bigger guy. Or they're the same size, but this is the more stronger guy. So you guys could have done knowledge checks on him to see what he's capable of. Or you could actually, like... I'll do it now. Well, you can't really talk to him because you don't have speak with animals. So never mind. What kind of knowledge can uh, I gain on him? I'm the knowledge only... Or, knowledge yeah. religion. You guys could do knowledge religion if you um... what, the, what the lion has. I'm the only one that can actually technically talk to him right now. True. 24. True. I mean, you could kind of, like, speak yeah. with an animal, maybe. Sure. I think you, you have to have ability or something to do no, that. No, I... Thing. Wait, hold up. Let me see my wild sample. Uh, I think I do gain the ability to talk to the animals, but I think that's be the animal that I turn into. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, since you're a tiger. Speak, guys. Let me see what they have. Okay, so he has scent. So he knows where you are. That's how he's kind of following you with his eyes closed. He's scenting you. Great. So you, you definitely know he has scent. He's following My you. My ghost that. line. But besides that, he's blind as a bat. Yeah. He has sense, I understand. And when he's attacked, will this kind of charm wear off this control? No, it will not. The only time it wears off is if you threats. guys threaten him. It's like, uh, yeah, read the spell that he had. The only time it will break off is if you guys threaten him. So if Yeager yeah, stabs so. him, or Vulcani stabs it, it breaks the spell, and then he says, acts on his own. Okay, so what I'm kind of anticipating is that he will be sent into the danger, and when, and then he'll be like attacked, and then he'll react instinctually by, you know, opening his eyes and going crazy on whatever attacked him. So I want to use my animal handling to just command him to move into that area of the room through the wall. Okay. Okay. So with the 24, what you know about him? Uh, he's a ghost dire lion, and he's undead. Uh. He's a large undead, an augmented animal, incorporeal. The, the senses, uh, since he got pretty high, his senses are dark vision, low light vision, scent. They have really high perception. Uh, I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to tell you because you might fight someone of these guys. That's fine. But he has high perception. Um, they're, uh, they have a draining touch. Um, so when they touch you, uh, you drain, they drain, a, they drain straight down. <laughs> uh, they have a corrupting gray, corrupting gaze. Uh, as long as a, as a gaze attack range of, uh, or as a constant gaze of range of uh, 30 feet, that causes 2d, uh, 2d10, 2d10 points of damage and, and charisma damage. That's a fort save. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's what you know of them. Oh, um, Michael, I looked into it. It, I can speak normally to animals while I'm in my animal form, but it think it, I'm just limited to its intelligence. So I, I may be able to talk to it. But it may not be able to understand what I'm trying mm -hmm. to talk to it about. Yeah, to reason with it. <laughs> gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. It may get like basic things like, you know, food, you know, pee, eat and sleep, right? But I tell it <laughs> tell it to like, you know, hey, go adjust the door. It was a stare at me like, what's a door? Yeah, yeah. No, I got you, yeah. It, it exactly. It doesn't know what a door is. Um so yeah, so Mordo's make your handle animal check. And uh, it'll go that, that direction. Okay. Oh, right. shit. So it falls, it falls through the wall, and it, and it goes through. So there you, go. you guys don't see it anymore as it, yeah. as it as it phases through into the door. Yep, and I'm, I'm kind of like pointing. I want it to go right to that direction. You know. Which direction? Right into the, the thick of the fray. Pretty much like telling him to go to the other side uh, of the trio of orcs. Gotcha. So he's there. Yeah. He goes in. Okay. And as he, as he, the ghost lion starts moving through the wall and his face completes, of course, Mordo starts chuckling. <laughs> and he yells out to the, the hobgoblins, <laughs> Your techniques are flawed severely and your society is full of degenerates. In Goblinoid, as he <laughs> as he casts blistering invective. In oh, okay. Goblin, go for it. Which it's uh, language dependent. Yeah. Can I put five, can I put five foot foot step when it's not my turn out of the way? Uh, not your turn. Yeah, because, you have to bring your turn. Because I'm the one standing between gob angry Goblinoids and the guy insulting them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, yeah, you have to do five foot when it's in your chest. I know, I know. I'm oh, kidding. okay. 
I know, right? He's like, he's like, he's like, God damn it, I'm the Bart's punching bag. And you're the only one who understood the, the severity. He cussed out the, the goblins. <laughs> Alright, so I have to do a will save. Oh, no, reflex. Reflex against a fire. Okay. Or no, reflex to not ca get catched on fire. Gotcha. Okay, so they get hit no matter what. DC 24. Oof. Or, uh, let me check their the hit. Uh, they're going to, and they will be 10 plus 5. Spell resistance negates the fire damage, the but does not protect from demoralization. Hey, you have to be there, demoralized DC. Yeah. It's a 24 um, check. That's what it might be. I was thinking how much it beats, I'm sorry, I know how many rounds you have not shaken. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so these guys, they're not hurt too bad. It's within 30 feet okay, of me, right, which is all. So, so that's 15. Okay, so these guys are hit for at least two rounds. They're shaking for two rounds. They're like, oh, shit. They're like, whoa, what was this guy talking about? How does he, he know? He knows how degenerate we are? Oh, damn. Hide the orgies, guys. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and then the, uh, the cleric, same thing with them. They get hit pretty hard by it, too. Oh shit, what is it? Uh, they are at a pretty, pretty hurt by it too. So yeah, you hit them for two rounds shaking. Last person. Plus nine last points last of fire person. damage! <laughs> the last person. The last person would be. Ooh, she's pretty tough. Oh. Yeah, okay. So you barely. Yeah, you barely shake in the last person too as well. But only for one round. And then nine points of fire damage. Okay, so they all take nine. Got it. And uh, they got to catch. Catch fire. Re reflex save to catch fire. I love this spell. It's so, like, effect on top yeah, of effect. Yeah, so, like, you, they all get hit by, like, a shockwave of uh, magical uh, magical wave of energy as Mortal speaks out loud and the wave of energy flows through him. Arcane. As they burst into fire for a little bit. And they're like, ah! Oh, they all, like, are burning in fire. They're like, ah! Oh! They're like yeah. this, like... <laughs> they're like, Tiamat, help us! They're like that, they're like screaming as they're, as they're getting burned a little bit yeah. uh, and being bolted. Uh, um, and uh, let's see, one of them, since, oh man, they didn't get to go. One of them dies. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah, well, well, As he gets burned by fire, he's like, oh! Because you're really hit by a freaking crit from the arrow and so forth. He bolts on the ground, he's all like burning. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, they oh, got to catch fire. Let me, yeah. <laughs> yes. I have to look at all these stats. <laughs> Sorry, bro. While bitches die, I'm going to refill my wine. Okay, got that. Got that. Oh, damn. <laughs> Shit. I didn't expect it that high of a save. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, so... So one passes, one fails. So one of them are on fire. Oh, not twenty. That one passes. That uh, one. Oh. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, oh, that really yeah. fails. Damn. Yep. And then I think that I don't think that up. Yeah. Um, I just realized something that could have saved us a lot more time in the other fight, but never mind. And that book is fine. Okay, so I'm back. Alright, uh, welcome back. Actually, she's gonna stay right there. So, the did they take that, uh, at yeah, the beginning of their turn, they'll they take 1d6. So, on their turn, or not on their turn, on your turn, they're gonna burn. Okay, on my turn, sorry. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Oh shit! Okay, what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Because what can you do? Uh... What could you do? We're so... Oh, okay. I know what you can do. Okay, got it. Uh, he's going to. Yeah, he's gonna try and do this. Oh, can he do it back quick? Man, adding adding freaking dire lines to the combat. This guy. All right. Uh, let's... Mad lad over here. Oh damn! It won't fucking work. Fuck. <laughs> fucking undead. <laughs> I totally forgot. This won't work. All right, so I need to think of something else. Maybe he would know this. Uh, so, okay. Uh, what can he do? Ooh, can he do this? No, he can't do that either. Oh, shit. There's a lot of things they can't do, actually, get undead. Um, <laughs> uh, what are they going to do? Uh, oh, Great. they could... Uh, hmm. The press key card. Yeah, they could print. Because, <laughs> you know, she's the helping sort. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, yeah, he'll do that. Um, this way. He's going to get us. As he steps foot, he grabs his. He has a throw in his hand and he casts it. Uh, can you guys can spell crap? You yeah. guys kind of see him. He's got the angle. You can't really see him that well, but you can, whoever's like closest to the door can mostly do spell crap. All right. Again, the door is only five foot. Right. Nope. Don't know shit. <laughs> Nice. Okay, he's sixteen. Oh. Wow. And that fights bites the the die the die. Right. Yeah, these guys have all the bunch of things that just do. Oh. Oh, no, not with that at all. <laughs> so, this is, all right, so that's a okay, Eager, Eager, your turn. Your turn, Eager. Get him, Eager! Yeah, kill, them. kill them with your bow and arrow. Um, I guess I'll shoot this guy. That guy? Okay. They have... Well, actually, this, this, this door is actually five foot, so you might not be able to see them. Let me fix the dynamic light. Because this actually would be only five foot. It looks like the square's kind of off, right? So let me fix that. I mean, you might be able to shoot them, but they just have cover, for sure. Sorry. Grandma needed help. She's watching the kids for now. What did I miss? Oh, you're good. Um, not much. I just need you guys to move up the way. <laughs> yeah. Right? Alright. Ready to your attack. Ooh, okay. So you hit this guy. Wait in the back, right? You hit the, the, the priest, right? Right, you think? Yeah, that's where he was going for. Okay, so with that, you might be able to hit, let me see, knife, uh, cover. You hit the first, the first one hits, the other two miss, unfortunately, with the cover. The first one hits. And I think you're within, yeah, you're not within 30 feet. So, so five points, five points of damage. 
I got it. All right, Miles, your turn. Well, because I'm a large, I can't really. Uh, if I try to move, well, the bard and the alchemist are in my way. Um, well, would be like forced out of the way or pushed aside or something. Would that be an athletics X to do that, Michael? To, do uh, what? to like, uh, or him, else I have over. to squeeze like. What, what are you trying to do, or what exactly were you trying to go? Actually, wait, is this area like uh, this section right here open? Yeah, yeah, it is open. It is okay, open. so I can, like, kind of be right here and kind of, like, swipe at them? Uh, uh, like... Oh, you're trying to be within there. Oh, yeah, because you opened that door, so, yeah, you do have room. Okay. All right. It's just not letting me, like, sit there properly. Did yeah, I... Let me move, move it. Let me move it. Uh, uh let's did I not hit the guy back here, or...? Yeah, yeah you, you, hit, hit him with... you, hit, you hit him with the first one. The other two missed because of the cover. Only five damage. Yeah, because they have they have armor. They have armor on. Like the, the clerics of the priest. Yes, it's... <laughs> yeah, so... Hmm. Sweet jams. Uh, all right. There we go. Okay. So if you move over there, you can kind of put the hit not cover though, because you're hitting at the angle because of the wall. Right. Because uh, anchor side does have Connie, but everybody else, like you're hitting at the angle of the doors, so yeah, they have cover to you and vice versa. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh hooray for pounce because I still, even if I move, I still get my full attack and. Me being a dum dum, I forgot to uh, check something uh, Reiki uh, that tigers have, which in game terms, every time I hit with piercing and slashing damage, I add one this one d six of bleed damage. So let's see if I start hitting these guys. Gotcha. Uh, fourteen. I'm pretty sure doesn't hit. Uh, claw, Deep 25, skin. and then 21. Does 21 hit? Okay, uh, let's see. 14, yeah, 14, 25. It's covered. Yeah, yeah, it's still hit him with, with him in the cover. Uh, with the 21, it misses, though. Because okay. He's, he has a so I hit once with the 20, uh, with the, uh, 25, right? Okay, so this is a D8 uh, plus three. And uh, hold on, let me double check breaking. Okay, your opponent takes 1D6 of bleed damage of the start of his turn in each uh Alright, so. Uh. You want me to roll that? You want me to roll the bleed damage now, or when it gets to his turn now, Michael? Uh, but I'll put the ten damage on the guy. Uh, Michael. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want me to roll for the bleed damage now, or when it gets to his turn? Oh, yeah, I said I said check bleed. I don't know if it's on his turn or your turn. Check bleed for me, please. Uh, sure. It's just uh, raking when you rake. Uh, you do one. Your opponent takes one d six of bleed damage. The damage starts of his turn. Okay, yeah. So yeah, okay, it starts on his turn. turn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only time it stops is when they do a fifteen heal check or use healing magic, and it stacks. Uh, oh, your bleed stack? Oh, 
Yeah, bleeds bleed stacks. Uh, nice. Because your bleed don't stack. You take the bleed. highest bleed. You take the bleed highest bleed. damage can. Oh wait, hold up. Yeah, bleed damage don't stack. Usually it's overlaps. Maybe it's talking about. Uh, the it's talking about the duration. Yeah, the duration. Okay, yeah. my bad. Uh, so, let's see. So this guy is dead. Uh, uh, okay, so this guy's turn. You can roll your bleed damage. Roll your bleed damage. Bro. Okay. Three points of bleed. He bleeds. He's like feels the blood trickling from the scratch that you did to him. Uh, let's see. Got it. And then he will do his attack. Uh, he will full attack actually. And let's see. He is. You intimidated him, so he has minus two attack rolls. But now he's buff, so that cancels. He's basically his buff. Still plus 10. Uh, how much for how much protection do I get for being in half cover? Well, you guys in cover him and he, he okay. and, you and him, right? Okay. So you have plus four. He has plus four. All right then. So, so my defense. Connie. Yeah, he attacks with Connie since he's in front of him. All right. And misses. Oh my god, that's a terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, after that, after that, it is this person's turn. They will cast a spell. Um, cast a spell on you. You guys, you guys can, you can guys, uh, uh, you can guys, uh, uh, do a spell crap. As you hear that incantation mm -hmm. of Goblin, you do a spell crap. Shit. Oh yeah, definitely. 24, 24. You guys know the spell that this person cast is haste. Oh, oh fuck. fuck! Now is when you throw down the dispel. Yeah, on one person. Can you tell who uh, it's casted on? Yeah, you can tell it affects it's affecting all these people. Like you see them. All of them. Okay. Going super fast, like they're like super agile now. They're That's like as if they're going like they're like they're like Matrix style. They're like Ooh, they're trying to dodge bullets. <laughs> and the click as well, like he's very fast speed as well. Um, yeah. Oh shit! He will. They did they take their shaking turns? Yeah, yeah. They take it. In. Cool. My suit attack rolls. But they're nice buffed, job. so the minus two that you did, you get a plus two from the It cancels out. Basically. You get squashed. Plus ten. They would have been ten, but... Yeah, yeah. That's good, too. Let's Oh, you might not have a miss. I forgot to add a defensive spin because he hit Connie last time. Oh, but it's uh, against any attacks made by the target. Never mind. It's only against Connie. Never mind. So it would have already could go away. Uh, never mind. Uh, let's see. Um, this guy's brain, or he's far away. Can't really do much. Uh, yeah, he will stay. Actually, he will. Oh, if I step this way, into the corner, and that'll be another turn. Where did you flee? Yeah, it's kind of your turn. Uh, these bitches all up in this year dungeon. Uh, oh shit. Uh, never mind. Oh. I'll oh, there's a bard in the way. I will delay my action until the bard moves the fuck out of the way. Uh, okay. Please. Mike. Yeah, what's up? I delay. I delay until after Mordos gets the fuck out of the way. All right, Mordos, your turn. Okay. 
Um, I guess I'm just going to. I'm not within melee range, I don't think. Move back that far. I should still. Could I be able to? No, I think my don't, range is thirty. Don't step into the cloud. You're in the fog. Oh, in the fog. I didn't recognize where the fog was. Oh, that blue stuff. The blue gotcha. area, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to be right there then. And I'm going to throw a chakram at this guy because he's the one I can hit. So I got to throw it to a friend. Is that okay? He's involved in melee, but I think I have the point blank range. I have something that helps me throw at people in melee. Shoot into combat? Uh, shoot into combat. No, it's, um, what do they call that? Pinpoint shot? Something like that? I'm looking for it. What are you trying to do? Where you throw into people, you throw at people in combat. What are you trying to throw? At the guy right in front of a Volcani. Okay, so you can't throw that. Precise shot. No, no, that's a feat. That's a passive thing. Yeah. Whenever you do a melee attack, you don't take penalty for melee uh, for the melee penalty. So I can make a standard sword. attack on that guy, right? Yeah, you can do a standard attack with whatever ranged weapon you have. Yeah. Great. I thought it was that negative, but even better. So do I click? I click the ranged button, right? Not the weapon. Yeah. I mean, you have one ricochet left, but if you throw us a chakra, like it depends what you're doing. You're gonna throw your plus two chakra. You're gonna no, throw your regular, normal chakra. My normal okay. chakra. Okay, go for it. So just roll your regular masterwork chakra, and then. Uh, I rolled range attack, so I shouldn't have rolled range attack. I should have rolled. Yeah, the, you yeah roll the actual chakra. Yeah, it should be your attack. man. Oh, I guess that's good. Twenty five. Yeah, even with the cover, because they have cover still because of range, but but you have you don't have to worry about the melee part. So yeah, twenty nine. Or sorry, not twenty nine. Sorry, twenty five. So you still hit him for nine points of damage. Yeah, baby. Got it. And then I moved the fuck out of way of Volcani. So his right. action triggers. Yeah. So you're you're now able to uh Volcani. No. Five foot step back. Right. So I think we delay your initiative changes, right? Or it doesn't. I can't remember. I it's don't know. Off the top okay. of my head, I think I think it's right below Mordos now since he delayed to his seven point two. Um, yeah, I think it permanently changes the initiative. I'll have to check, but who who cares? It's fine. Uh, let's just move shit along. Um, there is this asshole here that needs to uh, get stabbed, and <laughs> we will in fact stab him. With this year long spear. I thought it was funny how you're not only the melee, but the tank. I mean, he has bombs too, but I know he likes to. It's not that I like, it's that I'm the only one that'll do it. <laughs> but then again, nobody has ever used all the resources. That's what I was thinking. I was like, you guys should definitely use resources. Yep. I've known it throughout all these sessions. That's what I'm saying. Like, you never run out of bombs, man. So definitely you need to. <laughs> it's been a while since they've run out of bombs. Yeah, while. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But uh, 21 and 23. I'm not fighting defensive anymore. All right. So, yeah, he has no cover, obviously, from you. So 21 23, you definitely mm -hmm. hit. So three and Sweet. six. So nine. Got it. Like, he got hit by chakra. He's got a claw. He's bleeding. And then he gets stabbed twice in the, in the stomach. He's like, he uh, tries to block him. He does some kung fu shit. He's like, woo! He's like, oh, 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 that hurts. Oh, I wasn't ready. He's like that. He's like, uh, in pain. Okay. That's <laughs> like one of those, one of those comic sketch. Uh, uh, so it's your turn. Or not your turn. Sorry. It's their turn, actually. It's the, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, actually. No, never mind. Has it been told to attack? No, it just went in there and is. Uh, I thought it, he would. Yeah, it's just in there. So on Mordor's turn, I'll act as the, the dire land. What it does. Yeah. 
Why hasn't been attacked yet? So it actually has its eyes closed still. Yeah, it just walked in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this thing tried to attack it, but it failed. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, let's see. This is. Can't even set the trap off. So for this guy, it's going to attack. Oh, God. Ooh, okay. So you see this guy, this guy right in front of the boar, and he's been beating the crap out of him, like chakra and spears and the tiger scratch him. You see, you don't see it, but like it's something as of a nowhere. Like he starts getting healed, his wounds are being healed. He's like, oh shh, as he's being blessed and healed by something. And you see him like get like uh, someone get covered, and he's still in the fight. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, after that, this guy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Monkholness the body. No, it's actually not his turn. Something else did that. Yes. You can you can tell. Oh, the ass toll in the back. Stuff we can't see. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, I just realized something. This dude owes me a bunch of reflex saves. Oh shit! I was supposed to burn people on my turn. No, um, uh, not 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 just that, but uh, I dropped the flaming spear here. Oh. This guy, yeah, this okay. dude has been standing in the flaming spear for like what the last four or five rounds. Show me where that yeah, the last flaming round. sphere it is. Been, it's been like yeah. the last two. Outline that right, sphere. It, and I'll it draw just it. dawned on me because like there was no indicator there. And I was like, wait a minute. No, that dude's been standing there for like a long ass time in fire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's what's uh, the radius. Right, here, right above it. So, but yeah, you're burning. Let me do that. It might be dead by that time. Yeah, he needs uh, three, re three reflex saves. What was the radius? Okay, that's a fail. It's, uh, it's in his square. If uh. they step into it, they have to make a reflex save on their turn. Okay, okay so you burn him once. You burn him once, but the other two yeah. are fine. Backflips right. he's So, 3d6 points of damage. Can I get my 1d6 for the guy who's on fire? Oh, that's on your turn. Well, oh yeah, your turn passed. I totally forgot. So it yeah, just one passed. Five. Right yeah, roll 1d6. Yeah, roll 1d6. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Gracious DM. <laughs> it's very fun to have your effects pay off. Oh, delicious. There, we're cold. Uh, this guy will be right here as he goes over this way. That's great. <laughs> that point. Shit. What would they do? Uh, oh, I forgot to do the extra attack, I think. Oh, well, that's fine. I forgot to do that extra. Oh, no, he didn't do the extra attack, did he? Oh, no, I did it. I forgot to do my extra attack. He tasted. Uh oh. The Tony, though. Yeah, now we're three. <laughs> Alright. So, anyways. Uh. Alright, so this guy will. This guy's dead. <laughs> those guys are dead. Or not dead, but they're down, getting burnt or they're stabbed. Close. Uh, 
<laughs> so they're unconscious, those, those two guys, those two monks. This guy <laughs> right there. here, and he will... Yeah, he'll test that. Yeah, he'll definitely test that. So you guys could do the spellcraft as the other player goes up behind the monk and casts something. Yes, sir. Seventeen. Oh damn! That's a bummer, bro. <laughs> Not as bad as that one. No, uh, better yeah, than mine. Yeah, yeah, no. I rolled a ten. Even with better. You know, okay, even with eighteen, because they don't match a window fell on skill check. So Miles, Mortis, and Kanye, you guys definitely know it's a, it's a cure monitor. Cool. That the person cast on the on this oh. oh shit! You barely can barely see it because they're on the corner of the wall, so you guys can barely see them. You have mm -hmm. the cover. It's uh, a familiar that, divine light. Uh, uh, Yeeker. Well, I guess it's not divine. It's a... Shoot the priest again. Yeah, go for it. He has cover at this point still, because they're on like, the side of the walls. But yeah, go for it. Uh, is there a way I could reduce cover? Like if I moved here or something? If you moved here, they'll still have cover. Because they're at that wall. They're at that yeah. wall. And also that, uh, what's it called, that thick fog is still there. Yeah. yeah. So you won't let you won't be your vision. Yeah, it'll obscure your vision. Okay. Only five feet. Whatever. It's not like it can shoot anything else. <laughs> yeah, you, you have spells. You can cast them. You All right. You can cast them. You can cast them. You want to do yeah, that? I need my spells. We're gonna keep fucking around in here. I'm gonna need my spells. Okay. I don't want to piss them away on. Well, you numbers. are being you're okay. being very effective. All right, so 18, 17 misses, unfortunately, with the cover, but the 22 hits, so you do 8 damage. Yeah. Or right, let me see with the... 30 feet. Oh, yeah, with the 30 feet, you do 9. You do 9 damage on him. As you get hit hard by it, he's like, ah! Oh! And get hit by it. Uh, you see the cleric kind of screams in pain as he hits the air on the shoulder. He thinks he's safe behind the monk, but like, he's like, what the hell? <laughs> Good job. Uh, Miles, your turn. Okay. Uh, can smell this guy right here, right? Uh, I mean, you smell something. Yeah, you smell a bunch of people. Um. No, the angle would be wrong. I won't be able to strike. Yeah, you won't be able to strike him from there. Like it's too much. All right. All you're saying. Yeah. 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 Unless you know, you have to be in a position where Bukani is, but you have to like push Bukani. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be that much of a dick. Uh, Do it. So, get in front of me. What do I need? Okay, right, Michael. What do I need to roll to like sub Bukani? Just a strength check, just to be able to just push him out of the way. Oh god. Okay, he's he's he's. You just do it, and I voluntarily day. fail. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So there you go. So Vukani's so, gonna get pushed this way to the side. So he's gonna get okay. pushed. This. He's gonna be in the fog. He's gonna just see your ass right there <laughs> because you're only thinking right. in front of him in the fog. So he's like, oh right. shit, the tiger. But yeah. So, uh, because I had to. Uh... All right. So well, yeah, basically, you see now. So now you can definitely see them. They still have cover for getting at the angle, but you can yeah. definitely hit them. All right then. Uh... No, all right, because of uh, me having to push, and that would have counted as a move action, right? That's a move action, yeah. So all you, right. you have one strike. You have one strike. Uh, mm, well, because of pounce, I can, even if I move, I can still attack. Uh, but... Yeah, pounce only works on, on charges. Oh, only on charges? All right. Yeah, yeah, charge. They're, it's really amazing, though. It's fucking awesome, though. Like, right. When you charge, you can fucking full attack something. It's fucking cool. I mean, you okay. just five foot step, right? So you'd be fine. No, no, no. He moved. He oh, had no. to push. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So he had to put a little, little strength to it. <laughs> yeah. Fight attack. Uh, with the twenty-seven, I still Ooh, hit, right? Yeah. Oh man, it's like having two freaking fight, dude. That'd be awesome. All yeah, right. With the twenty-seven. This is uh, 2d6. Ooh, snake eyes. Oh, However, 
Uh, when it is his turn, he's gonna take a d6 of bleed damage. Wait, he has rake, right? It, does rake only occur when they hit with two claws? Uh, whenever you deal damage with piercing or slashing damage with your primary natural weapons. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was only with claws. No, it's just uh, like any time with like natural weapons I do piercing or slashing damage, it uh, kicks in. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Not the rake. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I thought you said rake at first, at first second. That's why I got confused. Yeah. Is, is that correct? I, I misheard it, right? You didn't say rake. You just said bleed, right? Okay. Yeah, the... Uh... Well, that, that's what the, uh, it's called the, uh, rake or, uh, yeah, the, uh, rake ability for claw, uh, I'm sure uh what this really extra oh, condition. okay, it is from claws. Okay, sorry. Yeah, right. The options he gives all grapplers, a monster with a rake ability gets two free of claw, claw attacks that I can usually use only against grapple foes. The bonus of damage cost that is All right, then. Begins. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was kind of curious. So, yeah, you have to hit them with your claws first, and then you can make them. All right. Yeah. But, yeah, so, you do damage the, the five points of damage. Yep. Uh, let's see. After that. I mean, he's. Oh, yeah, he's been hurt by. Oh, no, he's been hurt by. Yeah, definitely from you guys from all these other damage. But he's still kind of fresh. He, he's been the one that hasn't been hurt that much. But he's definitely been right. hurt a little. Like I say, he's hurt. All right. All right. What can you even do? Uh, I know I'm taking out loud, right? Making you guys know my plans. No, I'm just gonna... uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. I will. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, keep doing that. Perfect. All right. So yeah, that does that. Ready. So after that, he goes in front, he breaks it, uh, he starts striking. Okay, here he starts striking at you. There we go. Uh, the tiger. See this full attack. All right. And he's just full attack. All three attacks. And they oh, all miss. <laughs> Get rid. Um, so 18, 14. See, so he does all that this kung fu shit. He tries to strike at you, but your height's too tough with your matching stuff. So he missed it. Uh, I, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He tried to do like a classic martial arts thing, so like fist fight a tiger, but he's doing a horrible job at it. <laughs> Tiger's got that cat reflex. So now it's your turn, Mardo. Oh, already. So I see one body right there. I but I can see that creature in the background, right? Body? That's oh, which one? Oh wait, wait. First, um, it's my turn. At the beginning of my turn or at the end of my turn, should they take their fire damage? Oh, I at the beginning. At the beginning of your turn. <clears throat> damage. Four damage. Oh, you did again? Okay, awesome. Got it. Burn. As they burn, this is the monk of it. The fire as the burn keeps hitting them. They're like, ah! Oh. They just feel the magical fires just burst. They're like, oh shit! As they feel the power of the of the invictive, blistering invictive. Well, no, uh, that's from the existing fires, right? Right, right, right. No, no, that's from your your spell. That's from your spell. 
No, that's uh, what, that's what I mean. But they they caught fire and they're still burning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's from your spell. Yeah, they caught fire because of your spell. Yeah, yeah. And I don't. Uh, let's see. I'm probably this just guy gonna... got hit. Got hit by this guy. I guess I have four more. All right, there you go. All right, that. Okay, so what's your turn? All right. Um, as a move action, uh, can I command, I guess it's going to be kind of hard if he's in the other room to use my animal handling on him, huh? To command my lion, I can't use my animal handling on him from the other room, right, Mike? I have a line of sight at that point. I mean, yeah. can you see them? Like, if you can see them, then yeah, you could try. You could try. I can barely see a little corner right there. Yeah, you can, oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah, you want to be able to do it then. You need to see a little bit more of him. Like yeah. Natural All right, well, I'm just going to toss my chakram for Another the one? first okay. action. Go for it. And I think I would have, like, two left after that. Masterwork? Gotcha. No, no, regular chakrams. I haven't tossed a max masterwork. Yeah, yeah, you toss your master. You have four master work. Yeah. Oh, I guess they're all master work. Okay. Yeah, you, you bought a lot of them. <laughs> Question: What the hell is this thing? Uh oh, that's the fireball. I'm just putting out this, but it's actually right here. Mm. That's a, that's a, a flaming sphere. Yeah, for now. This is uh this is a Miles flaming sphere. I'll put a green. So only rolled two for damage on a twenty-one attack. That's a twenty-one hit. One, yeah, hits him on the dot. Oh no, wait, shit! It misses because you have cover with a large ass tiger. So it actually misses him for big ass tiger. Shoot, throw your master, master shotgun, but it bounces off. He's able to like see it coming. He hits it off with his hand. Damn. Uh, I can't use Gala Inspiration on myself, can I? Uh, you could. Yeah, you can. It's immediate action. Instantaneous immediate action. Yeah. Close range. But once you do that, you won't be able to do it for the next round for your for your team. That's or a level two spell. I mean, you'll be able to do it, but you just use up your swift action Yikes. in the coming turn. That would be my last level two spell. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So after that, Volcano, your turn. Unless you want to move. I think you have a move I can do. I'm doing anything that move I can. That'd be or, solid. You want to do anything with your move action? You can move over here. You can probably see your tiger for the next round. I mean, your lion. Okay. I mean, let's see what that. Hang on. I'm trying to click it, but it's not working right. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm trying to move him, but it's not letting me. It's being weird. Like, there it goes. Five foot step. Oh. Bomb. Bom well, let me declare. Let me declare the. Let's see what the first one does, and then we'll see what happens. Okay. So you're gonna hit this guy, right? The guy up in front. That's right. Point blank shot is turned on. Ooze bomb. Ooze bomb. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. fast bomb. Right? Nice. Mm-hmm. Thirty. Yeah, you fucking. You fucking hit him. Yeah. Salad. For lots and of damage. Then... Guy got line of sight on that asshole in the back. The acid part huh? is it actually a dice roll? I thought it was only equal to your intelligence. It's a, it does damage. It does acid damage as a bomb. It just oh. burns the target and it and it hits them for additional damage next turn. On their turn. Because yeah, that, because I was looking at it, it said. The damage, oh the creature damage where the Ooze Bomb takes additional acid damage equal to the Ooze Master's intelligence modifier at the start of the Ooze Master's next turn. Uh huh. Yeah, that's why I was like, why are you getting 40? But it six? still so does regular damage. It still does Alchemist scaling dice damage of 46. They never get they never get scaling damage, actually. They yes, they do. Their, 
they get that. scaling dice damage. Bomb starts at 1d6, and it scales as you level to 10d6. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the initial damage, the, the 3d6 plus 6. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I was talking about the acid, like the, 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 the ongoing damage. No, the that's not health. that's not included. It's just... Oh, okay. you know, Why is it... Yeah, that's why I was confused by the 46. That's why I just got confused. What the fuck is going on then? Yeah, yeah. I Yeah, I agree with you, the initial one. Good the call, initial DM. one's fine. I was just kind of confused. It's possible the fucking the, the fucking macros yeah. all fucked up, so I'll take a look at it. But yeah, no worries. Okay, so seventeen. Yeah, he definitely takes seventeen. Oh, I think that might. Oh no, no, he's fresh or not fresh, but he's still healed. Like, he whatever, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Let's see. So he's pretty hurt at this point. Uh, seventeen plus. It was really cool, though. Yeah, you see Vukani throw a bomb and it just shatters into his face as it melts him a little bit. He's like, oh, he feels a burn. Like, his body's not looking good. Like, he's pretty hurt at this point. Yeah. Okay, he's hurt with that 17 acid. Uh, but he's been hurt before. Uh, after that, this guy. Uh, he will, he will. Oh, the 12 of I didn't see 12, my bad. Oh, do you think that it's the 12? Do you still throw out a hand or is there a 12? What? The 12? Is the 12 the second time? Well, the I wanted to ask, could I see, do I have line of sight on this other asshole against the wall? Yeah, you do. He has cover, okay. but yeah, you do. Okay, we'll, we'll throw it at him. But he has cover, so four. So you, yeah, you missed barely. Uh, so that's that. This guy. Thank you, please, Lock. Oh, you see man. the monkey if you feel a little bit as you feel as you see some essence get healed from him that's from these beings. I mean he's still burning and everything, but you feel a little bit. Not a lot though. He could. Yeah. Yeah. your turn, sir. Yeeker, are you there? Yeeker, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, it's your turn, man. It's your turn. Which one are, uh, which person are you attacking? Is the, is the priest still up? I don't see him anymore. Yeah, he's still up. I mean, if you don't see him, yeah, he definitely has cover at this point from that. But you see the monk. You definitely know the, the priest is up, and you see it. You see the monk still up. You see Whatever, priest. I'll shoot the monk. All right, go for it. Uh, you definitely hit all three. Holy shit, nice. Yeah, baby. Together. Get it. <laughs> 11, 5. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm within 30 feet, so it's plus one to each of those. Nice. He wasn't uh, looking so good see. before. Uh, uh, we we about to bust up in this room. Dirt. Especially with the after. Yeah. And Bukani destroyed his ass, literally. No homo. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> it's kind of like the yeah, acid you, softened him yeah. up, and then all the arrows like went through him extra deep. Yeah. <laughs> like the acid just burned him as it crashed in his face, and then the arrows just rip into him, like through his chest. He's like, oh! And he like <laughs> screams in pain. He's like, ah! As he gargles blood, and the acid just burns him still, and he falls down the, to the ground. The acid starts eating through the arrow holes, winding them a little bit as he falls. <laughs> exactly. 
Nice. Good job. Sick. Uh, Miles, your turn. <sighs> All right, uh, let's see. I do. I unfortunately do not have reach. Uh, uh, Michael, here's an important question. Can I fit through this door? Or do, uh, I have to, do I have to squeeze through? You're going to be there, but you'll be squeezed. Yeah, because uh, the cleric is still there on one of the squares. So you could be like halfway into the door, but you'll be squeezed. All right. Uh... So you'll be like you'll be like this. Unless you can bull rush him, you'll be like this right here. All That's right. Gonna, it's going to happen. All right. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. Move the flaming spear uh... and get him. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, I can, yeah, I can do that. I'll yeah, yeah. just back where I was, just move the flaming spear over and uh, reflex save, please. Yeah. Uh, on top. Yeah. All right. So move on him. He does reflex. She's a cleric, so he's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> he's like, come on, man, look at the real face. That'd be perfect. Uh. That's funny, the Hobgoblin, I'm sure he's pretty unsuspecting. He's like trying to keep his distance from the flaming spear, hiding behind the door, <laughs> and then it just moves right on top of him. He's like, Mama, no! <laughs> huh? Where, even though he can't understand me because I'm speaking the tire, where's your god now? <laughs> oh, shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we did click call. We didn't have enough, you know, we didn't have enough minutes. Yeah. Alright, so yes. he's been hurt a little bit, not too too bad, but he's but he's hurt pretty bad still. So, uh so he's pretty hurt pretty bad. Uh he's definitely not uh, okay, he, he looks he's looks like he's on his last bed. Like, he's, like, so, uh, he's like he's hurt by the arrows and like everything else to fire now, so he's just like standing he's like trying to hold up just by the power of will, but like like it's hard for him. Um. Yeah. Is it my turn? Hold on one second. Uh, uh oh. Unseen enemies afoot. This guy's dead. Now it's your turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Alright. Oh, this guy should have gone. I totally forgot to get out on his turn. Oh, shit. The dog okay. guy. You have not moved yeah, him. Yeah, I, I think I didn't do that twice. So let me do two his attack. Oh, yeah. He definitely hit the freaking tiger. <laughs> and that activates the tiger. His or the lion. So I don't even need to command him. To do something, he's gonna be pissed. Like, Come on, man! I just made new friends. We're just walking through the house. Can you attack me? Yeah. So this his bite. I don't think does anything, but at least his fire does. Wow, my bad. Six three. Not too much, though. Uh, on the spell, like, if anybody attacks it, does it break? Or is it only allies, right? 
the things on the allies. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's still under control, I think. Got it. Okay, your turn, Mortos. All right. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. By me or my apparent allies that threatens him. That's the only thing that would break it. So, uh, it's my turn, and he's yeah, been attacked, then would he react instinctually and attack that other animal, since he's still a creature? creature? Say it again? Yeah, I mean, he gets attacked, he feels a pain, he kind of roars, but he doesn't do anything yet. He's still waiting for your command. But you just told him to go through yeah. the wall, that's it. Yeah, I will. I will use my animal handling. I like, I like whistle at him. Hey, no, no. and then when if I get his attention and he receives my command, I command him to just attack everything. Let me roll my skill. It's like Morados is like, and then he puts all his hands up and goes, and starts making swiping motions. <laughs> All right, gotcha. Perfect. Animal handle, handle animal. <laughs> uh, it kind of understands what it means. Like even with a natural one with an eight, like it understands what you mean, but it, it doesn't mean like it doesn't know what you mean by like it's just attack per se. But it starts just, just swiping the air, so it's just starts <laughs> swiping the air. So it doesn't open its eyes, so it doesn't know what it's attacking, but it just starts swiping the Are air. It kind of hears you. So it's like, I think it wants me to swipe. So it's like it starts swiping the air. Do I have to resist since he looked at me? Oh, he's not looking at you. Okay. His eyes are closed. closed. His eyes are closed because you didn't tell him to open his eyes. Because you yeah. had an animal was so bad. He com he got confused. He saw you just wanted to swipe the air. Uh, he starts swiping <laughs> the air. Damn it. Oh, 10. The, oh, okay. So I can still roll. I wonder how close that guy is. To do a 40 feet away. That might be the extent of my range with my chakram. Uh, so yeah, thirty so feet misses, range. So. I can't reach him. Shit. Yeah, the range of your chakram is thirty feet, but you can pass your chakram range by five increments. So even though it's thirty feet, you go past it. But it's every every thirty feet increment past that, it's minus two to hit. So I can do it at a minus two. Yeah, you can do it at a minus two. Okay, I'm gonna throw one at him, which he gets. Uh, this guy, I guess he would get cover, also, right? Yeah, he would get cover. So minus six. Yeah, basically. Out. Or not minus six, but he gets plus four to AC. Yeah. Okay. That's tough. Ooh, come on, baby. Oh yeah, you definitely hit him. Though. Yes. Yes. So nine points, nine points of damage. Yeah, you get the get. There you go. And I have one that. chakram left. Yeah. I have to go pick him up. Uh, Connie, your turn. Uh, I want to just fucking squeeze it over here, past my dude. Okay, so you just move through him. Actually, yeah. I can move. It'd be yeah, way you can easier, move through right? allies just fine. Yeah, you're good. I'm not leaving. Uh, no, I can't. I can't leave his threatened square. So. You know what? Hit me. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I like that Volcani. What was that? That was uh. That's five. That's ten. Uh. 20, then 25, 30. Alright, so this guy attacks you. Uh, I miss you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, let me do it again. Yeah. All right, he has a D100. <laughs> eight, eight misses. He's, he swings. He's like, bam! He misses. Um, he misses you. 
As he's just like he tries to hit you, you just do it like you just dodge it like nothing. Uh, so what do you want to do mm-hmm. once you get there? Uh, well, I can't hit him. Well, you know what? As part of the move action, can I draw my dagger and just? Yeah, yeah, you can. And just say, get fucked. I don't even have a dagger on my fucking bar. Um, melee swag. Oh, damn, yeah, you definitely fucking hit him. <laughs> uh, I believe it's a 1d3. Yeah, because you're small. Yeah, because you're strength. Or whatever bonus you have. <laughs> I like how it says buff, point blank shot. <laughs> Yeah, it's full. There you go. Three. Nice. So you stab him in his, like, freaking, like, right across his leg. He's like, ah! Oh! And he gets stabbed really hard. And you see Gash open up his leg. He's not looking good. Well, actually, no, you fucking killed him. Well, you knocked him out, actually, with three. You knocked him out. And you slash into him and cut his, like, wall. I, 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 know I, I know I should have done this after the fact. Can I do it non lethal? Oh. Uh, yeah, you can if you want to. I didn't realize he was that close to death. So, yeah, yeah I want to knock him bad. the fuck out. He's been hurt pretty hurt pretty bad. Uh, with a minus four. Ooh, uh, yeah, you should be able to hit him because, I mean, his ace is not that high. He does have crazy armor. Yeah, you definitely still hit him with a minus four. So, he's... Yeah, I guess he's unconscious at that point. Yeah. He just falls down. Into the ball of fire. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> If you don't move the ball of fire, it's gonna burn him. He's gonna fall automatically to saving throw. Mm-hmm. Just FYI. Uh, yeah. is this thing a summon creature in the back? Yeah, that's a summon creature. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna burn a life too. He's on fire also. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so even though it makes him unconscious, Makani, it's a good, good try. He's getting good burned alive, <laughs> anyways. Because of the up uh, because of the mm. reflect or the blistering incentive. So do you still want to kill him? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Right, Damn. So, yeah, so he dies. He gets cut open. And he's like, oh, and as he falls down, burns up still. <laughs> uh, so yeah. All right. After that it is. Uh, 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 Bucket. He says, fuck in a bucket, and he appears out of visibility. Uh, let's see. And you can burn a lot of fuel. Also, that fire's uh, so good. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, he's invisible. He's the one that was healing the gob- the other hobgoblins. He was another cleric, and he strikes at you. He's a destructive smite. He's like Bortiamat oh. as he swings at you, Vukani, uh, and most likely miss. <laughs> Sneaky, bastard. but he does it with all his might. Uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't even realize this guy was here. I know, right? He was invisible. Shit, crazy. Yeah, I managed to. I managed to catch. Like, I was like, oh, I, I barely was... managed to catch. Oh, plus two because he, he was invisible, so that's twenty-two. Does twenty hit you? Nope. Okay, so he hits hard, but you're able to block that shit with your spear, and you're like, "Fuck sure. off!" And it's like, "Oh no, dagger, <laughs> the dagger, yeah, dagger. yeah, yeah dagger. He, he block it with your dagger." And he's just like, "Oh shit, I'm dead." <laughs> it's like this guy blocked with a dagger. I'm like, <laughs> he's like, I even I even said a prayer to Tiamat. <laughs> All right, Yiku, your turn. You see another cleric on the side, right over here. Uh, can I shoot him, or is he a cover? Uh, he's gonna have cover, yeah, because of the tiger and stuff. The tiger, the big guys in front of you, your ally. But you can definitely see him. Is that enough to hit? Uh, let's see. Oh shit, yeah, thirty twenty nine. Oh my god, yeah, that's really high. Thirty twenty nine, and then well, twenty misses, unfortunately, because nineteen plus four. So sixteen. 
So yeah, 16. You got it. Oh, damn. Okay. He's not looking good. Actually, you might have killed him, actually. <laughs> because, and pretty soon he's been taking, like, burning damage this whole time. Yeah, burning damage also. Yeah. I missed that a second ago. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking dead. Yeah, yeah. So basically, he's like, he's like, 14 mod! And he swings as he comes up Billy, but kind of just blocks with his dagger. And then he's like, what? And he gets shot by two arrows. Oh, oh, oh. And he falls out to the ground as he just shoots him and kills him. <laughs> Good job, Peter. Okay, and then he's dead. Your turn, Mal. Uh, oh, actually, this creature goes on its turn, I think. I forgot to do the hellhound. He goes on the cleric's turn. Um, mm. do that real quick. He attacks the... Again. 14. Oh, he misses, actually. This starlight has higher AC, so he misses. Okay, Miles, your turn. Okay, um... Uh, let's see. This guy's dead, right? Oh, yeah, that guy's dead. Let me mark him. Okay. Right. And... Yeah, you still have your flaming sphere over here. Unless yeah. he wants to burn the guy to death. I mean, he's getting burned anyways. You can double burn him. <laughs> uh, nah, it's fine. Uh, so this thing's the only thing left, it looks like? Yeah, like that. Yeah, that summon creature is the only thing that's left. All right. Uh, All right. Let's see. Or that you know of. Yeah. Yeah, that we can see. Um, all right. So, how much, how much uh, movement do I lose by like, squeezing through a door? Uh, I don't think much. I don't think. Or no, I guess maybe like it be just double movement, like ten feet. So okay. instead of five feet, it's ten feet, I think. But after that, yeah. everything's still five feet. Okay. So. 10, uh, moving past uh, Vulcani will yeah. be another 10, yeah. getting over here. Uh, well, so... Vulcani's fine. You can move allies just fine. They don't, they don't, okay. They're not difficult train. All right. So to move right there alongside this thing, it will take me 25 feet of movement. Because normally it's just 15, but because of the squeeze... Oh. It'd be 25 if you want to get right here. Sorry, I thought yeah. I had my push to tuck on. It'd be 25 if you want to get here. Alright. And I'm um, definitely going to work on that table for you. Yeah. So I can have all your shapes. <laughs> okay. So I can toggle them for you. Um, Alright, all right. I'm going to attack this thing, but can I... As I'm moving in, can I also make a perceptional or just? Oh, in the room? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, mm. well, a perception would be a move action since you're trying to. Well, okay. So yeah, yeah, you wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, never mind. Then I'll just uh, take the uh, clear danger in the room. Alrighty, go for it. All right. Uh... That's a fourteen hit. Fourteen, fourteen. Oof. I think that that might hit. I mean, it's it's just a, a hellhound. It has armor, but not crazy armor. Oh, yeah. but no, that's pretty tough armor. Uh, it's yeah. You miss him. You you're super close, but if you bite it, it's able to dodge out of the way. All right, all right. That's my turn. Alrighty. Okay, so these guys are all dead. Oh, okay, I barely just noticed the statue in the corner. What was in the corner? Uh, the uh, the statue. Oh, yeah, I just saw the statue, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I wish I had described the room, then you'll see it, too. Uh, let's see.
Okay, your turn, mother. All right. Now there should be plenty of room to get in there. Yeah. That's my maximum there. One. Is this an open doorway right there? No, it's not. You have to go this way. 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 This is a wall. This is a wall right here. So it's only a five foot square to get into it. You have to go in like that. Right. Five. 15. Yeah, we end that way. 20. 25. I guess he would still get cover because I have to throw it through a friend. But I will go ahead and do that with my last All masterwork right. chakram. So Ooh, match that one, was match you missed. one. So you throw it, it just falls down past the, the hound as it just dodges it. And it just lands on the ground. Right, <laughs> oh. <laughs> kind of your turn. Uh, can I move past this thing? That was actually pretty big. Yeah, you guys can't move it. It's like a big piece of that. You can move to the lion since it's actually your ally, so you're fine. All right, cool. Yeah, it's an ally. It costs me more ally. speed though, right? So. No, crossing crossing through allies is fine. Like it doesn't cost you more, more huh. speed. Yeah, it's only when you have like difficult terrain that's the only thing that causes you speed or like obstacles, like the actual like walls and stuff. Well, Connie, like the uh, as part of the move, legs. I'll draw my uh, switch back to the long spear and stab. Go for it. Uh, oh, uh, don't forget he's flanked. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the first one, 22, definitely hits. Yeah. But yeah, you, have, you get one attack. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's hurt a little bit, so that doesn't hurt more. So he's pretty hurt now. Uh, Nick, your turn. Um. Yeah, the thing you see in there is like your allies, and then the and then the hellhound. I don't think I can shoot the hellhound, can I? You can shoot him. Yeah, you can shoot him. It's gonna have cover a little bit because of the dire lion and the uh, and the tiger. But uh, uh, hitting the ghost makes the spell break for. No, you're not gonna hit the ghost. I'm just saying it has cover. It's your ally still because Mordos commands it. Five foot step and attack, I All guess. Right. All right, cool, cool. Go for it. Nineteen, eighteen, nine. Okay, nine misses, but nineteen and an eighteen actually hits even with cool. its cover. So that's uh, nine and six. Oh shit, that might kill him. Uh, um, are you within 30? Or no? I don't think you're No. Right. No. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so 15. Nice. I think that kills him. Check. He's dead. Yeah. As you see the last two arrows, the Bukali stabs him. He gets stabbed in the side, and then two arrows hit him on his head, and he just goes down. He's like, ah! And he goes down and falls down to the ground as he bleeds, and then it vanishes to be the summon monster. Awesome. Yep. Alright. Shall we call it? Question. Back? Is that mist still going? Yeah, yeah, the mist. Where where you hear it? Yeah. What? Where Geekier is, where he sees the fog, it's still going. It's still there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Uh, so. Alright. Um, 
it's it's we're still in are we still gonna be doing like in combat uh rounds or are we out of uh i think we're out of combat now yeah at this point i mean at this point you're most likely out of combat at this point all right if there's something you want to do like uh, combat, then you'd be out of combat just let me know all right all right uh I guess more us were here. Uh, what I wanted to do uh, was, uh, um, when I got to my turn, was do a perception to see if I smell anything else. Go for it. Make a perception. So I guess technically... Yeah, I guess we're still in combat. You guys do all your turn like as if it's the next round of combat. Oh, really? So you do smell like as if, like you smell all the dead bodies here, and you definitely smell there was uh -huh. dead there was at least one, two, three. So there was three goblins, and then there was two more uh -huh. with, like heavy armor, and then the hellhound. But then you smell another body that was here. They're not here anymore. We smell another mm -hmm. body, and it smells nicer, like much more elegant. But this, body, like, this body where it was, it's not here. Uh -huh. The trail's gone. Like, it looked like it it, it went south. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, up here. Okay, there it is. Okay, I I did not see a freaking perception roll there for a moment. I was like, what the hell? All right. Uh, okay. So, it the smell goes south, right? Yeah, it goes so south. Right like, south from what you know of, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm guessing these two openings right here are doors. Yeah. This actually, this door is open. Let me open it. Sorry, I forgot to open it. Um, I would like to call the game before we get too far. Yeah. I mean, this is where we're gonna end. Uh, we're gonna end where you guys gonna start stuff. Cool. But yeah. So like, this door is already open. So you see open. Um, like open this door. This yeah. We check the guys for the loot if we have a chance. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll definitely check right. the after the game. Yeah. Let me know if we need to check for magic shit, because we have the lantern. Yeah, yeah, you guys won't be able to detect magic and I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, right. but yeah, that definitely sense the, the scent of another person, like the, like you sense the four, the other two, and the hellhound, but you sense like a last person. Mm -hmm. There it smells more elegant, Miles, and it comes from, like as this person was here at one point, and now they went yeah. south. The scent went south. Right. All right then. Appreciate it, Mike. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, let me describe the room since you guys killed everybody. No, no. no well, Actually, save it because go. yeah, it's fine. We that we'll remember next time. Oh, cool. Yeah, I gotta go ten. All right, great battle, guys. Hope you guys had fun. I know it was a long one. It was a little bit, a little bit, was, a little long. It was like two well, miles. Yeah, slow one. Also, maintenance stuff. I had issues at my yeah. apartment. So. But yeah. Appreciate yeah. No worries, dude. You have a good one. But aside from that, it was, I thought it was kind of cool night. how one battle fed into the next one. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that. Yeah, this this dungeon is is yeah has a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thanks there for guys for coming. Hope week. you guys had fun. Next week, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll next be week. more available. So. Oh yeah, no worries. It's all good to happen. But yeah, you guys have a great week. Have a good the rest of the weekend. Mm. All right. All right. See us. Displaced. Uh, take care. Peace out. Displaced. Yeah. Displaced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool, man. I love when you turn yeah. the tiger. <laughs> <laughs>